And welcome to Classic Confessions Alterations. Hi, Trini. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. I'm in North London. I'm so far away. I know. I'm going to show people, in fact, where you are. There's Lucy. This is Classic Confessions Remote. We started such a wonderful film, which was Alterations. Yep. And then um, coronavirus put us all in quarantine. So uh, we're still going to do it, though, which is wonderful. If we can just show you now the film that we started. Closet Confessions this week with a special guest. It is a special guest who's been in my life for many, many years. I want to introduce you to S. Susanna. Come on in, S. Susanna. <laughs> How long have we known each other? Lola was, I think, a year. A year, so 15 years. Oh, exactly wow. right. A long time. Oh, right. And I think you know quite a lot of my wardrobe, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. I've introduced S. Susanna to a lot of people over the years. Yes. <laughs> and Trudy, how important is she in your life? S. Susanna, I think you have, for some periods of my life, been like my drug dealer. Yeah. Would you <laughs> yes, say? I think so, yes. Seriously, because I would buy things and be so obsessed about the fit, because I always believe the fit in clothes makes them look really chic and, and more expensive than they are. I am very long-waisted and... Um, and short legged, so I buy a lot of dresses which just feel too high cut. What do you do, Susanna? We Tell us. We put a panel down here. Really similar, oh. all right, and and created the panel. <laughs> this was one from Nina Mahmood in India, and it had. Do you remember, Susanna? This yes. really wide yellow down yes. here. Yes. You took half yes. of the yellow, didn't yes. you? Yes, and then we put the panel in the middle. And put the panel in the middle. Oh, wow, and then added that blue. And then added that blue. Okay. Favorite dress has got too small. What can you do? I know yes. when I wear this in the summer, I'm like. <gasps> The solution now here is we have a little bit of gathers here. Yeah. Yes, to move the gathers to the middle. Yeah. Then we give uh, a little bit, uh, then we have to find again some yellow and yeah. put maybe just another facing under it here. Yeah. Another tiny thing, mm -hmm. the smallest thing, is when things gape. So when they're a tiny bit tight, but they still fit, but the, they gape between the buttons, you put a very sturdy yes. fastening yes. there so it doesn't pull. Other things, and this is a luxurious thing, but I'm going to go on to why you should buy two dresses to make one. There's something I love about this dress. Sleeve, but is it the right length? I love the neckline and I love the fabric. What I don't like is there are no pockets. And also this length on me, the length which is the widest part of my calf, it doesn't work for me. So we're going to take this, and I was thinking we would make a second tier underneath. Yes. And then a pockets. really in at the waist. Um, and pockets. You can use the other sleeves to make the fit longer. Uh, full length. Full length. No? Why the hell not? Oh, this dress. I know, you love this dress, Lucy. This is an old Aussie Clark, and <sighs> that was the look in the 70s, those flat-chested girls. But it doesn't work. So I was thinking, could we take this up to maybe here, but not take it up forever, Susanna, because one yes. day Lila will want to wear it, and she'll want to wear that split. Exactly. But in the meantime, I still want to wear this dress because yeah. I love the sleeve. So it's like, whether we take it all, I slightly am tempted to take it all the way up. I think the thing is when you have something designer or like that's a vintage vintage yeah. piece you don't want to cut it up to because you'll spoil yes. the integrity of the dress it's so bloody i couldn't have said it better myself it would be an insult to aussie clark it's so divine. now it's closed i'd be wearing it a lot more so this was one of my favorite shirts it's a very odd color lucy mm. not necessarily a color i would wear but when something is exactly the colour of your flesh, it can actually be quite soft. Yes. It's just yes. divine. This is yeah. a very old Joseph shirt. And I remember at the time it was very, very expensive. But this is not a bad nude bra. This is our save the boob moment. I think when you're wearing a nude lace, you kind of don't want to show a white bra. But if I then wore this without a bra, it mm. might be that Esther Susanna and I in yes. the past have taken yeah. strategic lace yeah. and we've put it underneath. Oh, no way. You know, you don't see that's an extra bit yes, of lace. Like that, yeah. But it's a great way to get rid of nudity underneath without ruining the line. That is a revelation. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Coat to gilet. Oh. Many of you love this gilet. So S. Suzanne and I do a mix of things together. Reinvention, resuscitation. I would love to do another gilet. I love the gilet. So I just want us to think about that for another time. It might be I'm in a fabric shop. We love Joel's in... Um, Church Street in London. So this <laughs> is the most beautiful colour coat and even as I put it on I'm going to hesitate that I should um, that I should do anything to this but I'll tell you what doesn't suit me on this is a raglan sleeve and a raglan sleeve is well it's like a drop sleeve so with this the colour is divine 
But I thought, what if it was a gilet? So you wouldn't just put a shoulder pad in just to build well, it up? If I put a shoulder pad in, the seam is down here. Oh, right. So it's like a hard, I mean, if I put a shoulder pad in, There's then the, the um, then the sleeve becomes shorter. What's that Camilla and Mark suit doing on the rail? That's oh, brand yeah. new. Surely you're not going to cut that up. No, I'm not. I love this suit. When I was pregnant with Lila, I had trousers like this. This trouser shape is a great trouser shape. It's side fastening. And I think it's a lot to do with the fact that it's with this tweed. So I'm going to ask uh, Susanna to make a pattern. You're going to copy it? I'm going to copy it. Um, and uh, when you copy, yes. I think that, that there's some rules for copying that we've found out over the years. Yes. Successful, yes. inspired by, and unsuccessful ones. So weight of fabric is really important. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, you know, yeah. if you say, I love the suit, let me make it in silk, not going to be the same suit. Okay. Let me make it in corduroy, could mm. be the same suit. Let me make it in chenille, will be the same suit. But you need a fabric in this instance, which has tremendous structure. Okay. So have you found some fabrics? No, I haven't. Okay, so we're going to have a look for some fabrics okay, to be inspired. Did you, okay. so do you want it copied so you have a spare, or do you want it copied so that you can have that shape in a different colour? You know what I want this in? I would love this. This is how much I would want this, and I'm never going to find it. I would like to just track down this fabric, which isn't going to happen, in white with a silver thread. What's that fabric called? I think it's, what do you think it is? Tweed. Like it is tweed, tweed then, because I thought yeah. it was a, like a Chanel, but yeah, it is like a Chanel tweed. tweed. I've got another jacket I don't, and I don't think this can be saved, but I love it. Oh, I'm gonna look for me. This is, there's like, there's no oh. seam allowance. So we've got to think how can we clever. So mm. this is Isabel Morant. I mean, it's just going to be, it's going to be tragic, but. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I mean, Isabel Morant is somebody who, who designs for women who are extremely thin. I think her biggest size is like a 12, maybe a 14 if you're lucky. So I just love this so much. The but shape is beautiful. The shape is fantastic. And the colour, and I wear this with a long orange dress in the summer. But now I'm feeling, I mean... Snug. Snug. Yeah, I anything? think it's just fine a similar colour training and put just panel and then it here. Ah, oh, okay, that's a very good point. Because yeah. I'm saying yeah. to Susanna, yeah. Yeah. let's just do the top. And she's saying you can't because it has to be proportionally the same amount. Do you see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, which I hadn't thought about. Yeah. The colour is like, makes me go, hello, wake up everybody. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah. So that's yeah. what we're going to so try and do So how hard is it to find that kind of fabric? Well, um, it's just to go around the shops where they have good quality fabrics and then... And just match it. it. I mean, yeah. I think if you're wow. going to a fabric, like, you know, how many of us watch um, Project Runway, but if you're at Mood in New York, you'd find the fabric in two yeah. minutes. There's some big fabric stores in London yes. where they'll have a lot of fabric. And you can just, you know, some of them are just colour driven and you can just go out and go, okay, stop, that's the colour. Mm. Yeah. This is a kimono that I was given by one of the ladies from the Tree Tribe. And I love the idea of it, but again, it has a drop sleeve. There is this shape to a kimono, which means that you're kind of slightly stuck with either wearing it like this, but is there anything I could do? So one thing we did do with a kimono, which I'll show with a black one. Okay, okay. I'll just show you what we did do, because I've got it here, is the other telltale sign of kimono is you have this this um, uh, bit where it just cuts here. This is one as Susanna made earlier. Remember so that this one. is a black one, which I love. And we just, I think you did two things this, didn't you? Yes, because you yes. put the white a the white bit in. Thing, and then we disappear. The so middle. the white came in here and we got rid of that yeah. bit. When would you wear this? That's the thing, the sleeves are still an issue. So I'd have to have, like if I have a sleeve like this, then it works. Um, I had thought to myself with a really high black trouser and a white shirt, I'd wear it. I haven't done that yet because it's very long. I love the fact this must have been an incredibly tall Japanese man. I mean, yes. this must have been a six foot two Japanese man. Where did you buy it? In Japan. But where? Oh, uh, I bought it in the market. Lovely. Uh, I arrived off the plane and I heard there was this kimono market that was only open on a Sunday. Yeah. And I got off a 14 hour flight and I said, Jane, Lila and Georgie, we're going straight to the kimono market. So we literally dumped our things and they were exhausted. I said, no, you have to go because it's closing in two hours. And I bought three kimonos. Wow, well, oh, it's fun. stunning. But it's like, what else could we do with it? Let's just, let me just hold for a moment. Let me just see, would we consider that we would make this? We take away the arm, the complication of the arm. 
and we might turn it into some kind of gilet moment. That's the thing. So would it be more interesting for me to... Hmm, that's nice. You know, do something where it didn't look so obviously a kimono. Because then I would wear it actually more. And don't forget that all that bulb wouldn't be there. So yeah. it would be like that. We or it would go even higher. I wonder if you'd make it like a sleeveless gilet. Oh, I don't know. I think I quite like the sleeve. Imagine if it was sleeveless too, and you had this as a dress with a belt. Oh. You know, and then it's mm. like a dress. Oh, like oh. yeah, yeah. No. Like okay. Thing. That would be interesting. And would you put a shoulder pad? Because that, that yeah, shape you've got. Shoulder pad in. It's quite yeah. Balmain, that shape yeah, you've just created. Yeah, it needs to be a really bad one. It needs to be a straight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and Susanna, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. So now I'm taking something that I adore, and I'm thinking, whoa this yes. is now something yeah all right so we'll see it all yeah, in a minute so now let's look at what happened to the coat from zara that i didn't wear anymore because it had a raglan sleeve because lucy's yes. also going to get the wow moment when i show her okay i'm going to put it on the shoulders look fantastic aren't the shoulders great so yeah. what as susanna did she obviously can't be here either is she padded out the shoulder and originally she just put a top pad in and then she put an extra bit here. So it wasn't like padding and then and then disappearing fabric. It was like padded and then I can wear it done up like that. And I could even belt it. But it just means I can wear it inside the house, Lucy. Yeah, and it's a great layering piece now. It's such a great layering piece. And I'm wearing it with a cost car, uh, jumper underneath exactly the same color. When I do gilets like this, Lucy, I like to wear the same color. It's very slimming. Is it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think also that's because we've exaggerated the shoulder so everything else looks less. Voila. Ooh. So what she did is she took the second bit of the ruffle and she put it on the end and sewed it up underneath. And then because the ruffle on the bottom needs to be bigger than the ruffle above, she took an extra bit of fabric from the top to widen the ruffle. So you go down like a cake. It's the dress I wanted Zara to be making. <laughs> and has she done anything to the sleeves? Yes, she has. She's put elastic on them, so I can then move them up or down. So they were sort of like that. And yeah. so now this way, a, a very good trick as well to make your waist look even smaller is if you have the sleeve end at the same length as your waist, it gives you a far, far more nipped in waist. That's that one. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this Lucy with this dress I got from Joanna Hines. It's so mad. But when something is so mad, you need something madder over it. There's the dress. <gasps> oh, wow. Which is just great. But do you remember the Isabel Morant jacket that I couldn't get I... over my shoulders? Yes, So I, do. I just thought, because it's got that pink in it, would I wear this jacket with this dress? Oh, Fits perfectly. Wow. I could drive the car. I could do a workout. I could dance. <laughs> But I'll show you what she did, Lucy. So yeah. she took, she found some pink fabric. This is a very technical thing, but I'm just saying she found some pink fabric and she put it in there, but also she then sewed over it so that it became waffly. Do you see? Oh, cool. And with it, I thought it would be delightful. I've done a little bit of pookie because it's a very bright jacket and you need to have the right makeup. I think I need some miracle blur is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, the lace shirt. Oh, yes. So now I can move my arms easily. This is the one issue with the lace shirt. She took some off the front and left the back long. So yeah. I now can move around, it's great. But I'd asked her, do you remember to put the lace over the nipple? And yes. what happened was when she last did something for me, my breasts were higher <laughs> and she was measuring it on that. And I put it on and I was like, oh my God, no, it still doesn't cover. <laughs> But she then said, well, look, pin where your nipple is and, um, and I'll get it. But not. I could actually do this myself, so I might do it myself. But basically, the idea was, as you know, we would pin a little bit more lace. Okay. She doubled up on the lace here, but my, yeah. my nip has now got to there. Oh, wow. So this is not totally my colour, but I think that in terms of the cut, She's done the trousers really well, Lucy. She's done the jacket exactly how the other jacket was done. That's amazing. The fabric I chose 
wasn't the right fabric. And because Corona had started, I chose it by phone. And this is just not me. You know, this isn't me. And I was thinking if I wore turquoise with it, it might help. If I find a bright turquoise top, because there's turquoise in this, yeah. and get away from the yellowness of the yellow with the green, it might then work. But I want to say that when you do love something and you want to get it copied, it's really important to check the fabric. It hangs beautifully. You know, the line of it's wonderful. So all of that works. What would I do differently? I think I would see the fabric. I think I'd make sure it doesn't seat. I feel this uh, tweed, Lucy, will seat a bit. So you have to be so careful about fabrication. And I think if you really love something and you want it again, make sure the fabric's exactly the same, but in a different color. Ideally, you would have taken your suit into the fabric shop and had a look. I would, yeah, but that yeah. just wasn't possible. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. It really is an exaggerated shoulder. My shoes are probably too high. It should just be straight, Lucy, like that. Yeah. But it's just so easy as well because I undo the belt and the whole thing falls apart. But she did a lot of work with this. Yeah. I mean, my waist does look like a, a child. <laughs> I am holding it in. It's the exaggeration of the shoulders that makes me look like I have this weirdly over exaggerated small waist she did a ton of work under the arm here so i said to her, i don't want to see slouchy boob at the side so she's padded all of that so you still get yeah. that sexy side cleavage which i it's love very sexy sexy huh and then she padded all here and we made it softer padding she put a shoulder pad in first but that um was too much shoulder pad and then very thin fabric so she then brought down with a little bit of padding like you might put in a sofa and that's not something that's so much more wearable than I mean wearing. I can't wait for somewhere to go or <laughs> you know have a party at home with my friends hey I think we've done everything Lucy yeah um and you know what I could do this again with you next week okay, okay. oh it's so nice to see you you too all right bye. ladies boys bye